Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are collecting wild microfauna for future projects. This is Bucket Ponds, and I am excited to share this with you. You may hear some wind and things in this video. Uh, I am recording my voiceover during Hurricane Ian, which has not affected my area uh, too much. We just have some wind here in southern Georgia. But I heard that it impacted Florida in a pretty bad way. So all of my prayers and well wishes go to you guys down south. Uh, I was born and raised in Florida, so I know how hurricanes can be. And I hope all my friends and family down there are doing okay. But on a lighter note, today we are taking uh, microfauna samples from this pond. This is the same pond that we have collected some wild bladder snails from recently. And, uh, you know, I visit this pond a lot. But I had the bright idea to take some uh, mud and soil samples from the bank here. Uh, specifically, we are looking at this moss. Uh, I'm not sure what kind of plant this is. But I want to take some home and see if we can't get it to grow and study it. And I'm willing to bet that there are quite a few different creatures in here. As you can see, I'm using a small mason jar. I think this is a pint. And uh, yeah, let's uh, take it home and check it out. Now, this is a few hours later. I have added the uh, samples to a larger jar, and I've added some of my own fresh water. I wanted to dilute things a bit and get a better look at what's going on in here. But already I can tell there is a lot of life inside. It's still a little cloudy, uh, but that's mostly from the uh, soil sample that came with it. But as you can see, we already have a ton of small diving beetles. Uh, now, this particular pond contains some very large, very colorful diving beetles that I would like to bring home. I've heard that they can survive on fish food flakes in uh, fish tanks. But I'm unable to catch these large diving beetles, so I thought maybe we could find some of their larval stage. And I'm hopeful that we have some in here. But yes, we have quite a bit of movement in here. Again, this is a half-gallon jar. I've just added the samples in here to dilute them a bit and get a better look at things. Uh, this strange beetle, uh, I don't think it's a diving beetle. I'm not even sure that it is aquatic, <laughs> but it's it seems to be doing quite well in here. It's been underwater for a few hours. And we have, of course, some wild bladder snails. Now, I also wanted to get a backup population of these guys going. Uh, I'm a bit worried, you know, if something were to happen to our one container of wild bladder snails, we need a backup. So here they are. Uh, they seem to be at home here in this uh, sample aquarium that we have built. And that's a good sign. You can see their little eyes there on the left. And uh, they're very active. I'm going to start feeding these guys very slowly. And of course we have some dragonfly larvae. Uh, these larvae I will most likely release into my ponds outdoors in the hopes that we'll have some new types of dragonflies show up uh, probably next year. There's also a nice case worm <laughs> uh, scooting around up top. Case worms like to glue debris together and form something like a tube uh, around their body that they then drag around. And I like to think of them as sort of like a worm snail. Uh, but we have a light yellow a uh, light green dragonfly larva, and a dark green or a black dragonfly larva as well. So I'm hopeful that we'll have at least one or two new species that will show up here in my ponds. Uh, these are the two that I found so far. I'm sure there's more in here. I don't want to keep these guys in a jar aquarium as they will eventually turn into dragonflies and, uh, yeah, it'll be hard to keep. Uh, but here's what we were looking for. Uh, I believe these are water tigers. These are larval forms of the diving beetles and some of them seem pretty large. The diving beetles in this pond, uh, where I got the samples from, uh, they are neon yellow, completely yellow, and I've never seen anything like it. I can't find anything like it on the internet, so I'm thinking maybe they are a color more for something like that. And uh, here's some more case worms, quite a few actually, and uh, these guys are a real treat. We've seen case worms in our other containers, uh, but I'm going to try to raise them here alongside these bladder snails and some of these other microfauna uh, animals. And I want to get a sizable population of them going. We've been doing 
quite well with our tubaflex and our other worms lately. So I'm confident that we can get more of these tube or these uh, case carrying worms to uh, take hold. It would be really nice to have a couple hundred of them scooting around in a tank, wouldn't it? Uh, there's also a smaller worm down there below the bladder snail. And uh, we saw a diving beetle for a second as well. That's actually two bladder snails, and they're most likely going to breed. They, uh, When things are going well, uh, your bladder snails will begin breeding immediately. So that's pretty cool. There's a diving beetle. Uh, yeah, and there's another water tiger. A bladder snail, some other creatures. Uh, I'm surprised by how many small animals were in this tiny sample. This was just a little chunk of mud that we brought home. And it's so full of life. Uh, that pond is actually built to contain runoff water from a parking lot. So you can imagine, like, you know, most people would look at it and say, oh, that's just some old nasty pond, there's nothing in there. Uh, but there's actually quite a few fish and a ton of small animals. There's even an alligator out there, so I have to be very careful, you know, I don't want to get bit. My wife would kill me. Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, so we've collected all these small animals in the hopes to uh, start raising them. Uh, the dragonfly larva and some of the other stages of uh, small young dragonflies I'll add to my ponds. These worms and these snails will be trying to breed in here. And uh, once we get a sizable population, we'll build another jar aquarium for them. And I really, really want to figure out what this plant is. Is it a moss? Is it some kind of root structure from another plant? I really don't know. I don't think it is a root structure as it's sort of bright green. Uh, but yeah. This, uh, I just wanted to show you what you can find in a small amount of mud taken from uh, an unsuspecting pond. Something most people would just scoff at and walk away from. But if you're like me, then you, uh, you enjoy these types of things. You know, there's a lot of life out here. And uh, even though it's something most people would ignore, uh, I like to shed a little light on it, you know, and, and learn something and, and do something more constructive with my time. So that's one last look at the pond. There's some nice goldenrod plants here, and I've tried to bring them home a couple times. I just can't seem to get them started. Uh, but I, yeah, I hope that everybody in Florida is doing well. I hope you guys liked the video. You will see these pets again soon. Uh, I want to get some breeding populations established and uh, see what we can do. I wouldn't consider this one of my weekly videos. This is just a bonus. I make a new video like every Sunday. Uh, there's tons of content on my channel. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy what I do. Have a great day, guys, and be safe. Oh, hey, uh, one last thing I forgot to mention. Uh, here's a really nice blue dasher dragonfly hanging out near that pond. Uh, but one last thing that I wanted to mention. Uh, I recently acquired a new glass aquarium from a friend at work, and... Yeah, I'm thinking about setting up a very large version of the microfauna aquarium. Uh, what would you guys think about that? I mean, it's going to be like 30 gallons. Uh, but I'm thinking that we can run it without a filter, have uh, just a strong amount of light, uh, a lot of Nutella macroalgae, maybe fish, maybe not, uh, but no doubt hundreds of bladder snails and things like that. Uh, yeah, so please let me know in the comments if you think that would be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, have a great day, guys.